Good morning, everybody. So, um, I've been having a great time doing this. Look what I remembered to bring. I actually have been drawing my things too. And some of them I colored, which is very refreshing when I have a moment to sit down. So today we're gonna do a simple design. And this is gonna be like the last element before we do one of the more complex designs tomorrow where we start like putting several designs together. Um, I'm really excited to show you how to um, increase increase the interest in your work instead of having to stick with like one motif over and over how to use multiple and to do it in a way that feels comfortable and natural. So here's the last one um, that I want to show you. Thank you for these kind words and good mornings. It means so much to me to have this every day. So what do I call this design? It's in this book right here but I can't remember. This is step-by-step -step free motion quilting. Also, I saw a lot more traffic on my site looking at my books, and if any of you wanna buy these online and that's hard for you, let me know and I can probably figure out how to put them in my store. Well, I can't find the, I can't find the page in that book, but yeah, it's full of designs. All right, so this one is wavy lines and pebbles. This is our first time to do pebbles. Um, so let me start with a little bit about pebbles. Pebbles are circles. There's a circle. I started that circle up here and I ended it up there. And uh, what I want though is for like to have a string of pebbles going that way. So what do I do? If I'm up here and I wanna be down here, I just travel around what I already did so that I get to the place where I wanted to start my next one. And then I can do another one. And now I'm stuck up there again. I just travel around what I already did and I do the next one. And when I get to the top of that, I'm going to travel around and do my next one and travel around. So you see I'm doing each circle about one and a half times. And also notice that I'm never having to stop my marker here. I just keep the motion going. It's like a figure eight. It never has to like stop and reverse direction. It's just the flow keeps going. I can change the size of my pebbles if I want. They can go from little to big to little. So that's that's the first skill for being able to do this design is just being able to make a string of those pebbles. Don't worry if you don't always like hit when you're traveling back over that other half circle. Don't worry if you don't always hit it. It all kind of blends into the design once you've done more of it. So once you know how to do that, you can combine that with some wavy lines like this. You start with a little wavy line, and then at some point you realize you're ready for your little string of pearls, and you make a little pearl, and then travel around to the other side, and the next one's a little bigger, and then maybe you get a little bigger, and then you can start making them a little smaller again, and eventually you go, that's enough. And now, do you kind of see that there's like a motion that happened here and here's the middle of this last one. And I'm just gonna kind of continue that flow that the design has. And when I want to make another one, I can. I'll move my pen truck, my marker truck. And then I would just probably, if I was quilting this piece or drawing it, just come up from where I was with a new wavy line this wavy line, look how it's bumping out this way at the same place that this one's bumping out this way. It doesn't have to do everything the other line does, but if sometimes they're listening to each other, that creates a really nice sense of flow and fluidity in the design. So that's something you can start to work with and we'll definitely be coming back to that um, in future lessons. And now I'll start the same thing, a circle halfway around to the other side and continue that. I'm trying to stagger, you've seen me do this before, I'm trying to stagger the location of these so that they don't all end up like in a line. Okay, that's gonna give it that sense that it's sort of random. It will sort of feel more like water. Maybe these are like bubbles on the water, something like that. Not every line has to have circles. If you feel like you could use a little breathing room from your pebbles, go ahead and just give yourself a plain line. Um, 
You could just do a few if you want. Changing size, changing number, and changing location are all ways to make this make this design feel really un unpremeditated. It's a good one. I want to keep drawing it. That's how I know. <laughs> so um, I think I saw a couple of questions flash up here. So let me just go back here and see if there's anything to answer. Thank you for the nice comments about my teaching and my blueprint classes. Um, where would you use this on a heavily pieced quilt? So uh, I think um, and somebody else is saying it would look great on a border. I agree. I have seen people use it in borders. I think it could also be just an overall quilting design. You could quilt an entire quilt like this. Um, and um, otherwise, I don't know if you're not like separating the border from the main part of the quilt. Um, hello, Alabama. I love you too. I, I know you, Dot. <laughs> Um, if you're not separating the main part of the quilt from the border and uh, you're not doing the whole thing, I'm not sure. I've never thought to use it in just like one section of the quilt. So I don't know that I have any advice about that. I was kind of thinking this is more of an all over design. But also, even if you are a quilter and can't imagine yourself using this, um, using this design in a quilt of yours, it's the dog. She just, she hears me talking. Um, I would still say, get familiar with it even if you don't know that you would use it. And um, definitely um, take a little time to go back over the lessons that we've done um, for the past few days. Because if you um, if you get familiar with like feeling good with um, back and forth designs, feeling good with uh, spirals, feeling good with this, putting these pebbles in a line, then you're gonna just like totally take off tomorrow when I show you the design that we're gonna do them.